Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about the concept of good life according to the scripture. Many people ask the question to me, Father, what can I do to have a good life? Of course, to answer this question, I have to read the scripture first to understand about what the scriptures tell us about a good life means. That's why let us begin with sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. Jesus said, to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruits, and every one that does he burn, so that it bears more fruits. You are already burned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me. As I remain in you, just as a branch cannot bear fruits on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruits, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wider. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and I will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruits and become my disciples. Let us we go back with the questions. What can I do to have a good life? Of course, to answer these questions, I want to give you two points. If you want to have a good life, first, you need to start with sense of gratitude. My brothers and sisters, sense of gratitude is a key to have a good life. When you have a sense of gratitude in your life, I believe that you have a good life. I always tell the people that the greatest gift you receive every day is that you are still alive. You are still talking. You are still eating. You are still go around. You are still go to work. Like I said before, that if you want to have a good life, you need to start with sense of gratitude that you are still alive. If compared with somebody who just died last night, it is the main reason we need to be grateful with. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I don't understand if you wake up in the morning and you are not grateful what you have and you start it with complaining something, 
actually not necessary to complain about. It means that you ruin your day. You ruin your plan. You ruin your peace of mind and heart. You ruin your destiny. You ruin your purpose of life. And you waste your time so much. So I encourage you to become a person who can control your own destiny. You can control about your own life. We start with sense of gratitude. When you have sense of gratitude, my brothers and sisters, I believe that you have a good life. Remember, a good life is not based on material things, not based on how big your house is, not based on how much money in your bank account. Good life is not based on how big your car is. All these things just temporary. One day, everything is gone. Good life in this context is about a peace in, in your own life. Because the grace of God in you. But when you complain all the time, it means that your blessing is go away from you. Your grace is gone. Because you spend too much your time in complaining without knowing that you need to have a sense of gratitude. So your blessing will come in, your grace will come in, make your life is much better. And I believe that when you have sense of gratitude, no matter how hard life is, you can handle it. You can overcome it by the grace of God. The second point is, if you want to have a good life, you need to stay connected with God. You need to stay connected with our Creator. You need to stay connected with our Lord. Of course, this point I take from the scriptures we just read from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. Jesus tells us, Remain in me, as I remain in you, just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own, unless it remains on the vine. So that neither can you, unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, will bear much fruit, because he taught me you can do nothing. These parables tell us to stay connected with God as the true vine. Like the branches cannot bear fruits if they cannot connect with the, the vine. Like us, you cannot bear much fruit if you are not connect with God as the owner of our life itself. That's why my sisters, if you want to have a good life, you need always connect with our Lord, so that when you connect with our Lord, God will take care of you. God always be with you. God will guide you in the right direction. Don't worry about so many things in your life. But when you have God, it means that you have everything in your life because God knows better than you. I encourage you to have good life is really important as a believer. We need to stay connected with God. It is the most important what the scriptures tell us today. We need to stay connected our, to our Lord Jesus Christ so that when you stay connected with Him, He will take care of the rest. I think the last statement, very powerful, the message that Jesus tells us in the scriptures, the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. Jesus tells us, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. Wow! This statement
meaning is very powerful for us to understand that Jesus tells us to stay connected with Him. So that when you stay connected with Jesus Christ, when you stay connected with God and follow His commandments, ask whatever you want to ask for, God will give you right away. That's why we raise sisters, if you want to have a good life, once again, stay connected with God all the time. Good life, once again, my brothers and sisters, not based on material, material things, not based on whatever you have in this life. Good life is about your mind, your thought. Then you have always peace, happy, enjoy your time. You always have sense of gratitude. You always stay connected with God. That's a good life. That means a good life according to the scriptures. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you and see you next time. And may God continue to bless you now and forever.